Hi, beautiful Virgo. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Virgo, it's going to be a little bit different today. And if you don't want to hear this intro, and if you don't want to see me shuffle, you can just go to the description box right away and click when I start to read the message out. Uh, so when I want to explain, I'm going to go on vacation in about a week. And I didn't just want to leave you with one little thing. I wanted to just have a little peek into the future so you could come back for several things if you wanted to for July, uh, August and September. We're going to have a little sneak peek. Uh, we're going to look for love and we're going to look for a career. I can't sort of say career anymore. So I'm going to say work or what you're passionate to do, what you're going to spend your time doing. Uh, and you, you know me by now, if you listen to, to me before, everything blends into one big stack. Like everything becomes one. There's almost no separation in what I'm reading for you. So we're just going to dive right in and see what we can find for you, starting with love. And then I'm going to do like an overall picture, uh, still with a lot of information, maybe enough for some. And then I'm going to go deeper into the message in the extension if you want to get further information at the end of the reading. So love for Virgo for July, please. Love for Virgo for July. And there's probably going to be a lot about the ascension or the awakening process right now because it's just been an ongoing theme. And definitely coming into August and September. There seems to be a lot of changes there right now. So let's see what comes for you, Virgo. Love for July. Like I said, if you don't want to feel see this shuffle stuff, just click the link below to get straight to the message. Some of you guys really enjoy this uh, shuffling as well because there's a lot of, still a lot of energy being transmitted. Ooh, this is the exact same thing as Cancer. So Cancer's uh, first card out for love was also take the lead. Number three there, a lot of passionate energy. So maybe some of you guys have a connection with Cancer somehow, some way. Love for August, for Virgo, please. Love for August. Release. Death leads to life. Transformation. Coming into the feminine energy there. 3 and then 13. And then love for September, please, for Virgo. Wow. Trust uh, with the come full circle in September. Uh, clarity of belief, number one, brand new beginning. And throat chakra, number five. So both the release card, the trust card, and the throat chakra came out for Leo. So let's see if there's a connection there somehow, some way. And then we move into the, what you're gonna do with your time for July. Solutions and the love number 14 there, which is a very, very beautiful number. And what are you doing with your time for August? Work. seem to be spending a lot of time with someone in August and for September please for work or for what you spend your time doing seven and nine so seven of Raphael 
very much about balancing your energy centers out, coming into balance. Um, let's see here. And nine of aerial. Rainbow connection is very much about like what you're creating in your life. It's very, very beautiful. Ending, but also unconditional love, wish fulfillment, dreams coming alive, unicorn there. So let's begin. Uh, we're starting here in July with a take the lead. And if I should just drop what I got before. It's just this very fiery, very fiery energy. There's like, um, maybe there's been passion between you and another person for quite some time, but it hasn't really gone anywhere. And then all of a sudden there's these like, there's these um, strings just shooting out of this fireball, starting to make connections. And when I get to take the lead card, it's also about um, being the initi initiator. Can you say that? Um, I'm Swedish, and so English, in English is my second language. So don't judge. Um, initiator. You're taking the initiation. It's good to take the initiation uh, to somebody else. It's not sort of a time to sit back and just wait for the other person to make any sort of connection. Go for what you want. If this is not a passion towards another person, if you're not interested in another person, um, this is like going after what you want. It's not time to sit around. It's, it's like going for your dream, going for your passion. And in terms of your, I'm staying here in July. For all the other signs that moved on to August and September and then started over with work. But for some reason, I want to just straight away do the whole July. So solutions, there's, um, so there seems to be very intertwined there. Success that comes from objective uh, compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Is it? Yeah. And so the solution, like there's something here that has happened, which very, it feels very closely linked with love for some reason. And so, um, there's something here with going forward, uh, whatever hasn't happened in the past, like we're starting to see movement forward in this. You could be the moving forwarder <laughs> in this situation. There's a solution to it. I get this divine counterpart feeling in the back there um, with like this love is going to solve itself. It's going to be... There's going to be this opportunity for you guys to come together. There's going to be a solution to all of it. If this is broader than that, if we sort of read the message into like, this is broader than that, there is an opening here. You've been wanting to move your life forward. There's, it's been very fiery. It's been very passionate. You have been knowing what you've been wanting for quite some time. But it's like you, you need to push it's very metaphorically accurate like you need to you need to push it f yourself a little bit like you you it's okay for you to sort of come in with a little bit of a helping hand towards yourself and your dream and move it forward and to know that whatever it is it is that you want to move your forward want to move your life forward in it's going to be a solution to it there's going to be something that shows up that is going to be very much to your liking Number 14 there as well. It's, very, it's a new beginning for your heart. So in life or in love, this is like you're, you're spending a lot of time thinking about this in July. There's a way to bridge this. There's a way to bridge this gap. There's a solution to moving forward. In August, there's some sort of release. This is death leading to life. This is transformation. This is coming into the divine feminine, which is sort of asking you to just go with the flow. It's asking you to really pay attention to your source and what your intuition is telling you to do. Releasing the old and coming into the new for sure. It's like a really beautiful rising up. As I said, Leo had, had this as well. And it, it very much matches that we have three and 13. So it's like, We have this idea, we have this idea about the creation, this idea about what we want to move forward with. 
And here is like in order to really start this moving forward, to start this creation, to start this loving place for you, there's, there's a need to surrender the old, to surrender the past. And you will, you are, and this is August. And I mean, it's very much about love here. So it's interesting. It's, like I said, I, I want to do them July, August, um, like one big reading instead of this is love and this is career or this is love and this is work. Uh, I mean, this is basically a new energy coming into your life. And, and we, we already had a little bit of an inkling there of a divine counterpart. It feels like there's somebody uh, perhaps that you've been wanting to see or moving into a new type of relationship and there's a solution to it. And once you surrender the old, once you sort of let go and strip down the old, let go of the old paradigm altogether, there's this new energy coming in. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make, make your heart flutter. And obviously in the extension, we can go deeper into this and really find out who this is. It can also be like a soul tribe member. It can be like a really good friend that is so loving and so beneficial to your journey right now. We have a lot of yellow there. So there's like such a beautiful, like confident, worthy energy coming in here in August. This is so beautiful. Um... Uh, and it's something, something, <laughs> there's something that we're healing, that we're healing, something really good. Uh, this Knight of Raphael, it just speaks about this new energy that is bringing a lot of healing. So it can be a couple of different, like whether this is a divine counterpart, whether this is a soul, soul tribe f member, friend, whether this is like somebody that's really important for you coming into business together with. There's this healing that takes place once you guys come together. I can't say this is what's going on in one part of your life and this is what's going on in one part of your life. It's very, very much a blend, like being blended in together. Come September, we had the trust to like take a leap of faith here. You've come full circle in the old paradigm. We have released and let go and it's a little bit like trust like let go and let god trust do this trustful into what the universe is bringing to you right now clarity of belief i love this how we've gone this very you know back and forth uh roller coaster -y, up and down uh journey it has been very like intertwined um a little bit of a knot sometimes a little bit of clearing up and then eventually like we also have the it's very much about the romantic type of love like in and i would say that is very much about coming together with a divine counterpart but i want to take it even further here and say this is a new beginning where you are entering into because we had rafa there with the green you're coming into a lot of healing and this healing or the heart chakra is green and that for me is like the whole love and the whole love is not between you and another partner. Your whole love is between you and your source. And so this butterfly, which also talks about like deathly into life, transformation. The butterfly also talks about transformation. Big shift there from caterpillar to butterfly and coming into the green whole energy rather than just a romantic like coming together with somebody else and it feels like, oh, they filled, they filled my that missing part of me. But this is like when you're in the whole energy, you're in the real love vibration, there is no hole, there is no lack, there is no missing anything. And so you don't really long for this other person anymore because you're fulfilled within yourself. But that's usually when they show up and they're quite lovely because they match your whole vibration, if that makes sense. So there's a surrendering, there's like a let go and let God understand and trust that source has your back and as you come more and more into alignment with that you're making like a big transformation transition almost 
and we also work with the throat chakra at the same time so it's very authentic it's very real it's very true you know one real truth the connection with you and between you and your source and if we clarify why that is here no sorry okay i'm being stopped i'm just in on youtube uh <laughs> sorry okay we move on we move on to the uh, what you what you do with your time work or otherwise you're coming into this seven of raphael so we brought in this new energy this new energy in august that is really really like they're just such a game changer for you and it has allowed for you to really come into your own balance between each and every one of your energy centers in your body. So seven there for me is a completion. You have worked on yourself so well. This is September. So you worked on yourself so well. And you're coming into some real balance there. Some real alignment. Getting your ducks in a row. And it's very focused because this is a wishing well. And usually I will see this yellow very clearly. And today it's really standing out. It's like really focusing on this yellow and as I saw it feels a lot of yellow like it doesn't really look all that yellow in the camera there I have to say a little bit it looks a lot more yellow here you have the yellow there in July a lot of surrendering into the yellow in September so there's like a lot of the solar plexus yeah that's right I wanted to show you here as well like there's a lot of yellow coming in that's why I said there's a lot of um worthiness and confidence it's a really beautiful energy here that they're coming with you can't even draw them into your life unless you're somewhere in the vicinity of this right so you've done the groundwork it's not them coming in to heal you you've already basically healed yourself and therefore you can attract this person into your life but now that they're here you continue on this path you're working together and you continue on this path where there's even more healing so there's like a seven of Raphael. I don't know if we're ever going to be full, completely, completely healed. Like we're completely, well, we have the death leading to life. So there is some sort of real transformation there going on. So you could have literally dropped the whole victimhood uh, paradigm, the whole shebang to really trust to let it go all completely. Because I am really drawn to that yellow here, which is, so much about worthiness and confidence and knowing who you are and also knowing exactly how you manifest in the world so there's a lot of beautiful things there about to happen for you and it's not like it's just happening you're doing this job and we're landing on nine of, of ariel in in things that you do your dreams are fulfilled hard work leads to great success a love for the beautiful things in life and there's a rainbow as well which is sort of a representation. The rainbow is a representation of um, the chakra system in your body, right? Like every color in the rainbow has the same setup in the body. So there's the rainbow connection. And if you listen to me before, you know that peacocks and unicorns are my indicator that a soulmate connection is around you, is about to take place. And we saw there's a solution to come together with this beautiful person. There is this person coming in, this new energy coming in. And here's also a little bit of an indicator that there actually is a soulmate connection that is about to take place here. That is so authentic. It's so real. It's so up there with you. Like where you release, you let go and let God and you raise yourself to a higher vibration here and allow for you to really step into this love vibration. And that's where you draw this person in. And so when you, f when you almost feel done, done in the sense that you really have awakened and you really have transformed a lot and cleared out a lot of the victimhood paradigm, I don't really know what to call it, um, making this huge transformation to real, not the, not the romantic type of love that we're thinking about, just beautiful heart there. And it, it can be so much beauty between two people but once you're in the love vibration, the real honest love vibration, there's there's like nothing like it. And you seem to step toward it. 
Nine is also an ending of the old. It's also unconditional love. It's manifesting what you want. And Ariel is all about the love and manifestations. So we're going to go deeper into this message for July, August, and September and see what all of this is about for you in the extension. So if you feel like this is perfect, this is all I need, uh, then thank you so much for watching. If you feel like you want more, the link to that is in the description box down below. Um, if you're not coming there, I just want to say thank you so much. And I see you in August, if not in the extension. Take care, guys.